My project is called A Domestic Residency at My Parents' House. This is how my manual starts with an open call brief and how to apply. The brief is responding to the practice of being in the familiar yet heightened domestic space within the family home. Making, doing and cleaning out of necessity, obsession and care and how these can bridge parental relationships by using the physicality of a house. To be exercised within the space of Martin Drive, where the exaggerated domestic exercises take place, but with the opportunity to be passed on for others to take their made box and curate in their own parents' house. An exhibition to take place at the end of the residency within the space, showing the natural intuitive process that has occurred through your state of maintenance and making. This can be filmed, photographed and sent to others with the viewing in person and by the, done by the parents. I'm not a writer, but I started writing a piece over three months ago, based on my time at my parents and the things that I was doing. This piece sits alongside the framework of the traditional residency. It's a personal piece that has structured the whole project and provides a complete running language for all of the items in the manual. This is a handwritten slow TV piece, which has been handwritten over the course of four and a half hours. The idea that you read the piece as it's being written, something that you can come in and out of, possibly relate to, or to see how long a pencil lasts before it gets too small to write with. I would constantly edit this piece, rereading it, rewriting it, making sure I got the right narrative across. With this obsession with cleaning and order, I shall now read a short passage. I enrolled my father's help today, and he hates gardening. Though it started with just a straight up, let's pull everything out as much as we can. So I had to start instructing. He had to keep having breaks as well, as it ended up quite a lot of hard work for him. But I think it did him some good. He's got to the point where he feels that he can no longer care for the house, as the house has been overtaken, even pushing him out. He doesn't see the point in caring for it. I'm trying to show him that little by little makes a difference, and that there is a point. I think he's starting to see it. He enjoys sitting out in the garden and sometimes even just comes and sits outside by himself before, reaching, before retreating inside after getting too hot. It was a big day for us to work in the garden and garage together and ever since he mentions how much he enjoys even going in the garage. He agrees with my term, lovely. My manual is a box. This box is literal, comes directly from the piece of writing and directly from the house. The PDF manual is an inventory of what's in the residency manual box. It's to be used as a portable tool made directly as an output of the residency. I structure the manual as if I'm advertising to a prospective student with what they can look at and how they can make within the residency, along with bringing in my own contextual resources of explaining the items I'd made. As well as myself making, I wanted to incorporate others. I wanted the physicality put back into communication. One of the things I started to make was darning kits, which I sent to male friends that I'd grown up with, where I sent a sample to them and asked them to send me their example back. The conversations that were coming out of these examples were highly humorous. One of them called his piece, spent longer threading the needle than actually darning. I record these conversations throughout the manual. In total, the manual box had about 30 pieces. I'm now going to show you a few short clips from the unboxing the manual piece. The way the pieces are laid out are very important. The gestures become part of the curation. The whole piece is 11 minutes long, particularly listen out for the birds and the bees.
This has been a brief explanation about my project, but I'd now like to invite you to the private view of the exhibition. There was a three person limit capacity, which I made sure to make a poster explaining. My parents would often see them around the house and give themselves a little chuckle. Here you can see the exhibition digitally, though taken on film photo. I did try having a film screening at 10 o'clock for the slow TV piece. However, technical difficulties didn't let that happen. I didn't practice how I wanted it curated. I just had a vague drawn out image on a notebook and the rest I wanted you to see the decisive movements in the unboxing piece. My parents of course did come and I was thrilled with their involvement and how much they noticed, questions they asked and all the laughter and enjoyment involved. I'll leave you with some photos of them.